Hi everyone, it's Janelle, and today I'll be showing you my entire nail polish collection. The way I store my nail polish is pretty boring actually, it's just 6 fabric drawers that I got from Target on clearance. 5 of them are full of nail polish and one drawer is for nail tools, top coat, and nail art materials. So here's everything that I have. If you couldn't tell, the majority of my nail polish collection is from the drugstore. The type of polish that I have the most are actually glitter polishes. It's almost one fourth of my entire collection. So let's start off with the glitter. So here is my black, silver, and multicolored glitter. I really, really, really love chunky glitters. Chunky glitters are my favorite. But I've recently discovered a new love for very fine, sparkly glitters. So out of this color category, these are my favorites. This first one is the OPI Metallic for Life. I think this was from one of the Nicki Minaj collections and I think it's really pretty for going out. The next one I really like is the Milani Jewel Effects in Silver and I used this one on my ring finger for the Tiffany inspired nail look which was my first YouTube video. This one is China Glaze Snow Globe. I normally don't like chunky hologram glitters but when it's really fine like this one is and, and very dense it's really really pretty on the nails. This next nail polish is the China Glaze Fairy Dust. It's very similar to the Snow Glow polish but it's a lot less dense. It's really pretty to use if you want to add some glitter but you don't want the glitter to overpower your colors. This is OPI's Purette My Whistle and what makes it so special is that the chunky glitter is matte but it gives off a very subtle and pretty look. Now it's on to the multicolored glitters. This is OPI's The Living Daylights. I really wanted to get this for myself because the glitter colors are very unique. It's a blend of gold, copper, teal, and silver. This last one here is the Confetti Tasmanian Devil. I bought this one at CVS. I think this one is a pretty good dupe for the OPI Rainbow Connection Polish. So here is my clear gold and copper glitter. A lot of the golds that I own are more of the cool tone and only a small handful or more yellow tone golds. I only just started collecting copper glitters. I feel like out of all the metallic colors out there, copper is pretty hard to find. This polish is Julep Jane. It's supposed to be more of a rose gold glitter, but I feel like it's more of a copper in tone. This next one is the Sally Hansen Set the Stage. It almost reminds me of the OPI Pirouette My Whistle, except this one is the gold counterpart. I think my all-time favorite gold glitter polish is this one by China Glaze. It's the China Glaze I'm Not Lying. This one is gold and has a bit of holographic glitter polish inside. This fourth one is the L'Oreal Sparkalicious polish. I really love glitter polishes that are in between gold and silver. Next up is pink glitter polish. Painting your nails is a really girly hobby, and there's really nothing more girly than pink glitter. My favorite pink glitters are Island Girl Mahalo Dream. This one is a flaky glitter polish in a jelly pink base, and I think you can only buy this at the ABC stores in Las Vegas or Hawaii. This next one is L'Oreal Fancy Me. And it's a really pretty red polish with gold specks. This one is Zoya Astra, and this is a medium grit polish made out of light pink and hot pink sparkles. My favorite light pink glitter is China Glaze Glam. When I first saw this on Pinterest, I thought it would be a rose gold, but it's actually more of a baby pink glitter polish. This next one is not pink, but it's slipped in there, the Revlon Scandalous Polish. And I think this is a pretty good dupe for the Deborah Lippin Bad Romance Polish. This one is the Sally Hansen Diamond Strength Dual Overcoat in Ring-a-Ding, and this one has gold, copper, and pink glitter. The mix of colors is really pretty and subtle. This is Revlon Starry Pink, and this one is a baby pink polish with silver glitter. Okay, this is the last set of glitter polish. This is my blue and green glitter collection. My favorites of the bunch are Clean Color Hollow Chrome. This is a holographic and blue glitter polish I got from Daiso. Next is Julep Jordan, and it kind of reminds me of the Deborah Lippmann Lady Sings the Blues. This one is a Love and Beauty polish from Forever 21, and I think the color is turquoise. I got this in a box glitter set from Forever 21, and I pretty much bought the set because of this one color. This last one is Island Girl Island Volcano, and it's another flaky polish that has a light blue jelly base. Okay, so now we're finally done with the glitter polishes. Here's my collection of white, light gray, gold, and silver. No 
My favorites for this color category are Zoya Trixie. It's a really pretty metallic silver polish. China Glaze Passion. I think it's really good for stamping and I think it's my only yellow gold metallic polish here. This one is OPI Funny Bunny and this is a semi-sheer white cream polish. And lastly, it's the one that I use in almost all of my tutorials, the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Whirlwind White. I like this one because it dries really fast and I can also use it for stamping if I need to. Here are my black, dark gray, and brown polishes. My favorite black polish to use, I think it's technically a really dark gray, is the Julep Brandt. If you remember, I used this one for the lightning bolt tutorial and the snake tutorial. One of my favorite polishes is the SE Polish in Power Clutch. I think it's really pretty for the winter time. One of the very first OPI polishes that I ever bought was this one. It's OPI My Private Jet. This one is a rich brown with holographic flex and it is absolutely gorgeous in the sunlight. This little one is Orly Night Owl, and this one is a really pretty taupe brown color with silver shimmer. This last one is the Sally Hansen Commander in Chic. I don't have OPIs, you don't know Jacques, but this one I think is still really pretty. Here we have my reds and darker pinks. My favorite polishes to buy are ones with cream finishes or glitter polishes. My favorites for this color family is China Glaze Red Satin. I don't have many reds in my collection, but I think this is a really gorgeous red. This next one is Revlon Pretty in Papaya, and this one is a scented Revlon one. At first when I heard about these scented ones, I thought it was a pretty dumb idea, but they actually smell pretty good. This next one is Julep Nisi, and I think this is a perfect hot pink shade. This one is Zoya Kimber, and this is a rich magenta with gold shimmer. Really pretty for the summertime. My last favorite dark pink is Essie's Cute as a Button. And this is a really pretty medium pink with a touch of orange. Next is my collection of medium tone pinks. There are a few classic pink shades, but I think I'm starting to get more of purple based pinks. This one is Essie French Affair. This one's really pretty for the springtime. And I also think it really looks nice on my skin tone. This next one is pretty similar in color. It's the OPI Mod About You, and it's slightly lighter than Essie French Fair. This one is Essie Fiji. It's a very, very light baby pink. Here is another scented polish from Revlon. It's the Sublime Strawberry. If you can recall, I also used this one in the Valentine's Day Nail tutorial. This last one is Sinful Colors Island Coral. I think I tend to go for more purple-based pinks and also orange-based pinks like this. Next up is my collection of light pinks. Julep Penelope is a light baby pink, and the nice thing about it is that it's very opaque. I feel like it's difficult to find baby pinks that are not sheer. This one is Essie Mademoiselle. I think this was my first Essie polish. Essie Ballet Slippers is a little bit lighter in color, and it also has a little bit more pigment. I think this color is perfect for weddings. These next set of colors are coral, orange, and yellow. I still can't find my perfect yellow polish. I really like the look of pale yellow polishes, but it's difficult to find one that's opaque enough. This first one is Essie Vandigo. It's a light pinky coral. This one is another Revlon scented polish in Mad About Mango. This one is a bright orangey coral polish. Here is Revlon Tropical Temptation. And this one is pretty similar in color to the Mad About Mango, but it is a little bit more pink. If you couldn't tell already, I really like Revlon polishes. I think that for the price, the formula is really good. This next one is Revlon Peach Smoothie. And this one is an opaque light peach with subtle shimmer. Here is my very small collection of dark greens and teals. First up is Essie Going Incognito. I think this one was a winter collection color. Another teal that I really like is from The Balm. It's called Let's Make a Teal. And this one is slightly more blue based. Here are my light blues and light greens.
One of my favorite light blues is Julep Jessica, and this one is an opaque light blue. The formula is a little bit thick, but I don't mind it because it's hard to find light pastel colors that are opaque. This next one is Julep Daphne, and this one is a medium seafoam greenish blue. One of my favorite Essie polishes is Essie Absolutely Sure. On the nails, it's almost white with a little tint of seafoam green. Another cream formula. I love creams. And I can't forget this next one, it's For Audrey. I used this for my first YouTube video and it's definitely one of my all-time favorites. This little one is Zoya Zuza and I think it's really pretty for summer. My last favorite green is Sinful Rise and Shine. Without top coat, it's almost matte. The texture is a little strange but nothing that a little bit top coat won't fix. Here's my collection of blues. My first favorite blue is Sinful Calypso, and this one is a gorgeous dark blue with a hint of green. This next one is Revlon Royal. It's a really, really pretty cobalt blue. This is the one I use for the mermaid nail tutorial. This beautiful shimmery blue is Julep Ivy. I use this one as a base color for my DIY nail stickers video. The shimmer in this is a gorgeous iridescent purple. Next we have Sinful Colors in Savage. This one is bright blue with a hint of teal, and this one also has that weird kind of matte finish. But again, it can easily be fixed with the top coat. Here is the Sally Hansen HD High Definition Nail Color in Spectrum. I'm not sure if they discontinued this line, but it's so pretty in person. I think my favorite way to wear this is on my toes in the summertime. This little bitty one is Sally Girl Epic. I got it from the Sally Beauty Supply Store. And this one is a true cornflower blue. It's almost neon in color and really striking on the nails. Now we're finally in the hope stretch. Purple. First favorite purple is Zoya Petra. I bought this one because I was looking for a color to buy and I was researching Pinterest and Petra was the first one that I found that I thought was really pretty. It's a dark almost grayish purple and it looks really pretty during the fall and winter time. This next one is Revlon Passion Fruit. Wow, I really like the scented line I guess. This one is a royal purple that has reddish undertones. This one is the Wet n Wild Mega Last in On a Trip. If you couldn't tell, I used this one in the Conad Basics video. This one is a really pretty blue toned purple. Brush is pretty big though and I'm still getting used to it. This last one is Sinful Colors Sweet Tooth. I think this one was part of their latest spring collection. It's a really beautiful lavender color and I think it would look really good on any color skin tone. Ooh, you made it! That's it for my nail collection video. Thanks for watching!